Uh, good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pearson at Excel International Mathematics by Mr. Kamotho and uh, we continue to explain uh, Pure Mathematics 3 at Excel, Pearson at Excel International A level Pure Mathematics 3 and we are dealing with topic number 7 and we explain example 1 part B in this video. Uh, example 1 part B is talking about the cosine of x over the sine of sine squared of x minus 2 e raised to power x with respect to x. And one thing we note in this um, function or in this expression is that um, we have a sine squared at the denominator and it is difficult to get a trigonometric ratio or a relationship or a trigonometric identity that is explained by cosine x over sine squared x. So the best way is to dismantle this part and write it in this form, the cosine of x over the sine of x uh, multiplied by uh, multiplied by 1 over the sine of x and we leave it at that and of course the cosine of x over sine of x that one by itself is the cot of x and 1 over sine x is of course uh, this is the cos x times the cosec of x so that part we have been able to express to dismantle this part and it is expressed that way. So before we even go further, we may wish to um, integrate this part using the standard integration that we have. And we know very well if we could borrow heavily from the differential part Let's see if we had to differentiate something which gave us the cosec of x times the cot of x right here. We know very well that if y is the cosec of x, then dy ds is negative cosec x cot x. That means if we happen to integrate the cosec x cot x we are going to have negative cosec x and that is exactly what we need to do now so if we take now the integral of the cot of x cosec of x it's giving us negative cosec of x of course plus a constant <coughs> Having done that, we have integrated the first part, so we need now to go to the second part. The integral of uh, 2 e raised to power x dx, if we ask me in this particular case, we will borrow from the same page, page 146, uh, under 7.1 and uh, number 3, whereby we have the integral of 1 over x is equals no, no not number three but number two whereby we have the integral of e x is itself the only thing we need to do is to simply add a constant but we can also uh, go back to our previous page and see something that we said that um, if we have y e k x then dy dx is k e k x in other words the integral of re e raised to power x with respect to x is the same e raised to power x of course remember to add a constant so the integral of uh, the integral of this part now 2 e raised to power x uh, is, is, is simply 2 e raised to power x plus a constant c so if you ask me then we have 
uh, done with our polynomial integration. So we have this part and we have this part. No, no, we have this part and this part. And uh, we only need to combine the two. So the integral, the integral of the cosine of x over the sine squared of x minus 2ex with respect to x is simply um, negative cosec x minus uh, 2ex plus c. Remember this negative is uh, reflected from the integral aspect of 8 because we found that the integral of cot x cosec x um, should be uh, should be now the negative cosec x because we had found that the differential of cosec x is negative cot x cosec x and of course this negative is just following what we have here this negative sign is again reflected here so that is it as far as example one part b is concerned please let's look uh, forward to explaining example two on page 148 and then we move together again uh, visit my youtube channel pearson and excel uh, uh, international a level maths by mr kamoto subscribe and share widely so that we can learn together all right